Valve continues to be absolutely based and rolls out another big ban wave for Dota 2. You see, recently there's been a lot of talk about a program called Overplus. Overplus is an application, a third party application that allows Dota 2 players that have paid for it via some salacious website to use an, uh, an app that gives them unfair information. This app supposedly reads the memory of the game and allows you to know the common hero picks in draft of your opponents. Now, normally you shouldn't have this information. There might be a way to legitimately get it if the opponent accounts were visible to you and their Steam ID was visible, but they're not anymore in order to prevent exactly this. But Overplus as an application was memory reading the ID of Steam of your opponents and was then able to cross-reference it with other websites that aggregate replays for Dota 2. And then it would tell you what are their common hero picks. You see, some people in Dota 2 do some one tricking. They play one hero much better or much more often than anything else. And Overplus would tell these users. Valve had let it be known that this is not permitted information. And another app called Overwolf had removed the draft foretelling functionality that was previously available in order to play nice by Valve's rules. This is the yesterday's Dota 2 update on February 8th, where Valve shares the news that these people are getting banned. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Hi, I got VAC banned. Any possible reason why? Is it possible to unban? More about that later. Valve, we're hard at work on an upcoming update we're calling Crownfall, and we're excited to get it finished so you can see what we've been working on. We looked at the calendar and noticed it had been more than a few weeks since the update. Year of the Dragon, generosity, prosperity, must be nice. Uh, they're gonna do some new battle pass stuff not battle pass but you know aesthetics and finally they say in keeping with the spirit of giving theme we've got another gift for almost everyone we've rolled out some new cheat detection code well actually we rolled it out a few weeks back and we've spent the time since accumulating quite the set of cheaters you'll probably notice fewer of them in your games as the automated ban waves roll out you see Overplus, I don't know what else it does besides offering information in draft about your opponents that you are not supposed to have. But it also allows you to change skin to something you may not own, which is actually directly attacking Dota 2's free-to-play monetization model where you pay merely for skins, but not for actually owning the game or owning all the heroes inside the game. So you can see that Overplus didn't just piss off other players, but they directly attacked Valve's monetization method. And maybe that's a powerful incentive for Valve to also address Overplus. They don't mention Overplus by name here, presumably to reduce PR of other people looking for likewise apps, but, uh, or maybe they don't want to give the credit, but I'm letting you guys know anyway, because everyone's talking about it anyway, we all know. Anyone that follows the news knows anyway. Uh, so uh, people are banned and what is the response from people that have been using this app it actually offers a kind of interesting look into the psychology of humans that are rationalizing themselves to use these bans there was this guy who's posting on the steam forums any possible reason why i tried to send a ticket ha 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 all right i'll wait he legitimately thinks he deserves to get unbanned. He's like, I don't even know what Overplus is. Okay, you know, maybe, but then again, maybe not. He wouldn't be the first to deny uh, cheating after having been called cheating. Program to War Guy. VAC ban. Only use Overplus for one time and I got banned? Oh no, I only robbed the bank once. I wasn't going to do it again. One final heist. Why am I going to jail? Now, I know it's a different scale. The same argument. I was shocked when I saw that I was Valve anti-cheat banned from Dota 2. I just used Overplus one time in my life, two weeks ago, and now banned for what? Please tell me the re solution to resolve it. New account. Uh, someone said he joined the Overplus Discord to see if there's a meltdown and said he got a bit of a rush from it. Uh, names have been uh, removed. Lifetime ban? I'm scared to go into my account. My account is 10,000 MMR, Russian smiley face. Got banned also, yeah, lifetime. My account also got suspended. My smurf got banned, help. My account got banned, you are low MMR. I'm 10,000, I'm in the top 100 of the ladder. Guys, goodbye to Overplus. I hope everyone can have another account and not get banned. It was good while it lasted, goodbye. See you never again, skin programs. 
You know, most people will be claiming that they were only using this to change into a different skin as there's no way that anyone that doesn't use this app would really know. If anyone that you know is like gonna say, hey, I was just using it for the skin changer. I mean, I don't know. I would call major cap on that. It's possible, of course, but there's no way for anyone to know and you are getting banned for it anyway, even if you had used other cheats. And I don't know if there's additional cheats besides the anti-draft. Uh, the draft, let's say, transparency that they're getting illegitimately. Uh, this is one of my favorites. How are I cheating? Yeah, sometimes I see enemy picks, but it doesn't change anything. The absolute mental gymnastics that you have to hurdle through and perform your acrobatics of saying, yeah, I sometimes had illegitimate information that Valve said you should not have and is bannable, but it didn't change anything. What's the argument here? I still lost, therefore it didn't work. Yes, I used map hack. I don't know if they have it or not, but let's say if it was map hack. Yes, I used map hack and I saw the whole map, but I still lost. So it didn't change anything. Like, how can you make such an argument and actually believe in that? Yes, I sometimes see enemy picks. Doesn't change anything. Sure, it's just a small component of the game. If you had a hack that gave you 500 bonus gold, that wouldn't guarantee you to win, but it's still an edge, you know? It's uh, it's pretty crazy. Time to say goodbye, Dota. Oh, he only liked Dota when he was able to cheat with it. Time for banned. Overplus say is legal and take money for it. Now all user got banned in one second. Yeah, I think he has to sue Overplus. Overplus said it was totally legal and safe. In fact, he's the victim. I'm not crying. I simply explain. Overplus is a cheat, not just skin changers. It's the meta. It's called meta, bro. What? It's meta to use it. <laughs> Uh, isn't there any solution? My items are gone. Can I at least send away my items? No, my items are gone. Man. Oh well, oh well. A lot of users have been permabanned after using Overplus. My friend told me, can anyone confirm? Would be great news. I got perma ban because I had Overplus, which I downloaded to check out what the fuss was about. Oh, such a classic. I didn't pay a cent to them. I never used it. Doesn't matter, fact ban. I can honestly respect this by Valve. I got caught in the crossfire, but I put myself there, so it's my own fault. All right, taking responsibility, you know. Uh, never used it. Okay, uh, that makes sense. That makes total sense. I believe him. <laughs> I need to turn off Overplus. I don't want to be bad. <laughs> so that's why my Meepo was always banned. Yeah, there you go. So uh, that's uh, Valve just being based again and doing uh, good anti-cheats, uh, which uh, honestly, I respect that. Dota 2 is by now 12 years old or 11 years old, and they're still doing anti-cheats. I really respect that because I don't know, most of you guys are not going to know, but I was a Warcraft 3 pro gamer and I started in 2003. And by 2006, blizzard that had not yet come into bad reputation they were still really really popular could do no wrong and did everything right and were very popular and they only shipped a product when it's ready and they support their games forever that blizzard in 2006 had let the warcraft 3 ladder completely go to shit there were so many hacks you could not play on battle.net anymore we were all forced into exodus if we wanted to play multiplayer into third-party apps garena hamachi Right? Bnet was all hacks. You had hacks that froze your screen. You had hacks that gave map hack. You had hacks that repeated minimap pings. It was really weird. If you had a ping, it was going to happen every second till the end of the game. Such a weird, obnoxious niche hack. But they did that to you. You had, you had hacks where you could not alt a four out of the game. It would lock up your Warcraft and it was just GG. That's only three years after Reign of Chaos and Frozen Throne came out. That's when they let it get to shit. So I look back and I say, hey, even when I idealized Blizzard and I thought they were perfect and they were going to be my daddy forever, uh, even then it was pretty uh, yeah, disappointing sometimes to kind of support. And here Valve, 11, 12 years after release, still coming up with updates and still releasing anti-cheat. Uh, good news. I'll see you next video.